Well, there's something you don't see very often. At least I haven't here in Mexico. A rainbow. Looks like it's going towards our land of Tuxpan over there. Yeah, I'm up on top of my brother-in-law's house. Haven't been up here in a while. Getting a bird's eye view of things. No storms nearby, but I usually crop in in the evening, or like that one is moving in from the east, which is typical. They always move east to west for the most part, or from the south, depending on if there's tropical systems, which I believe there is off the Pacific coast, Acapulco. And, yeah, pretty cool scenery up here. The sun's getting ready to set pretty soon. It's still pretty hot up here, man. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, concrete welder, somebody lives there. And this place next door has been bought by somebody and they left a nice dump of crap, I guess, for the new owner to uh, clean up. Isn't that nice? And there's a tree there and they cut that down. Boy. Oh well, we'll see what the new owners do in time, if anything. They may sit here vacant or they may start building, who knows. Anywho, yeah, so uh, brief update, been busy, you've seen the videos this week, been having some internet issues, I think we've got those resolved. Uh, family here's got themselves a smart TV and so they're all into watching movies on Netflix and I don't have access to the internet on my main computer because I require an ethernet cable but the modem has been relocated to the bottom of the house, away from my room, so I can't access the internet except by my laptop on the Wi-Fi. So that's how I'm getting my videos uploaded now, one by one, unless I get access to the boutique, which I've been doing as well, to kind of keep up the pace. You know, again, DSL internet, it's still king down here, unfortunately. Cable modems are here, but uh, they are taking forever to get around, and I think they're charging, I think close to, from what I heard, 900 and, yeah, like, I think it's like 1,200 pesos, yeah, between 900 and 1,200 pesos for cable modem. You know, we're talking like almost $100, 90 to $100 just for, you know, basic, that's the basic package of cable modem speeds. So, yeah, still a long way off for, you know, fast internet down here, it looks like. So I just got to keep dealing with what I can. But uh, anyhow, we are heading to Tasco. By the time this video gets up, I've still got videos uploading now. Monday morning, heading to Tasco for my immigration stuff. Finally, I think I've got everything wrapped up. After the last three plus years of trying, you know, those that have followed me for quite some time know I've gone from Acapulco to Tasco to Chipancingo, um, all to get the requirements that I need, paperwork, documents, whatever else, you know, to satisfy the Mexican immigration system so I can change my status from a tourist to a resident, you know, basically resident alien, which is good for two years, then I can qualify for permanent residency, and in turn will lead to citizenship one day. So that's kind of my goal, you know, yeah, we've got the boutique, we, uh, you know, it's ours, theoretically, like the land in Tuxpan, you know, is ours, but because I'm a tourist, you know, I'm not on the deed to anything, so I don't really have any rights, I can't work, I can't vote. When I had the FM3 status, yeah, I was able to do stuff, um, you know, I actually had some rights, but I let that expire, unfortunately, because I wound up having to find work back in 2012. 
and because that expired now I got to start all over so yeah it's going to cost approximately from what we gather about 5,500 pesos so we're looking at about eh, 500 bucks which is cheap compared to the United States immigration so uh, yeah that's what I'll be doing Monday heading up in the morning Monday morning and uh, I'll record that trip you know of course with the GoPro and if I can get it set on a taxi dash cam that'll be a uh, interesting road trip from Iguala to Tasco and then uh, do the immigration stuff we might try to hit the cable car or, or tour Tasco briefly while we're there and then head back so yeah that's the adventure coming up and uh, you know, I'll start getting that uploaded and uh, you know once it's done that'll probably be Monday evening and again internet permitting you may not see that for another day or two <laughs> so Hopefully, hopefully it won't be, you know, like taking forever, but it'll get up eventually. So anyway, other than that, not much else to report. Um, Durango's doing great, as you've seen in my videos. Uh, my brother-in-law did a lot of work on it while we were, before we got here, almost 3,000 pesos worth. Got all four new brakes, uh, new piston uh, hoist for the, the little hydraulic pistons for the back hatch. Um, yeah, four brakes, tie rod ends. Um, we still got to get the air conditioning looked at. Um, it's just blowing air, so we think it just needs recharged. We hope that's all it is, and if it's a leak, then that'll cost a little bit more, take a little more time to get corrected. So we'll try to get that done this coming week. And other than that, yeah, Acapulco next week. So, um, yeah, we're having fun, as you can tell. And... Uh, you know, much more to come. I'm kind of watching that rainbow. It's still growing. Stretching out. So, yeah, we may be seeing some rain later tonight. I don't record a whole lot of that because, again, my cameras suck at night. So, no sense in trying. But, uh, yeah, these storm clouds that are rolling in from the south over here, south and east, they'll be getting here tonight and probably dumping some rain. So, that'll be nice. But, other than that, there you go. Quick update. Been here, been here a week. Got three more to go, so stay tuned for continuing adventures from south of the border in Iguala, Guerrero, Mexico. Adios.